Welcome guys! Yesterday I played the new PUBG snow map Vicente for about 16 hours and I had a lot of fun doing it. This is no doubt the most detailed and well made map ever created for PUBG and so I thought it would be cool to make a video talking about some of the things I learned. First of all, yes you do have snowballs in the lobby. These can be thrown at players and they will stick to the character model. Players that aren't moving gets a new freezing animation and when I get all my life server skins I'll see if this changes if you're stacked with warm clothing. Footprints do stay in the snow and according to my test they stay for at least 15 minutes. So far there's no reason to think that footsteps even disappear, unless perhaps if you move very far away from them. Being prone leaves a snake trail. And vehicles will leave tracks too, that you can track down to find out where they went. And while I'm tracking down this snowmobile, notice the new blood effect within the blue zone. The track from the snowmobile ends here and it looks like our friend had a rough landing. A good tip regarding snow tracks is to stay off the snow as often as you can as that will hide your footprints while also making you slightly harder to spot unless of course you have a white ghillie suit. Yes there is a new snow ghillie suit that almost glows white and makes you look like a little snow yeti. But simply wearing white clothing is unsurprisingly also quite effective in being hidden in the snow. But do remember that you'll likely be carrying backpacks, vests, helmets, weapons, pan etc. So you won't really be that hidden with white clothing anyway. The ice on the map is slippery but it doesn't break under the pressure of a vehicle or when throwing molotovs or grenades at it. And gunshots do nothing either. You can now inspect your weapon by pressing J, a cool feature especially if you got some nice weapon skins. There's a beautiful spot in the map, marked right here, where the rays from the sun will be visible through a thin mist. You must see this for yourself. Around the inner courtyard of the abbey you have many different rooms on both the bottom and the top level but you can't bolt out of any of these windows. This leaves only two ways to get in and out of the top floor. Level 3 helmets now spawn again in the world and are no longer airdrop exclusive. And you cannot find thumb grips or half grips either, those grips are removed from Vikendi. Oh and you can see your breath while looking down while holding your free look button too. Of course there's also a new gun in the game, the G36C 5.56 assault rifle and it sounds amazing but already has a reputation of being quite difficult to control. I will be testing the gun though to find out exactly how it handles soon. There are many cool things to be seen and discovered for yourself on this map and it is a huge pleasure to play. Have you discovered or learned anything cool you want to share? Write it in the comments below, I will be reading. That's all for this video, I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys next time.